this just blows my mind that in 2023, we still dragging and hanging brothers by a tree. That blows my mind that I have no opportunity to defend. I don't even know what I'm defending. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Around Association. Well, the Michael Irvin case, I'm sure you've heard about it by now. And just in case you haven't, um, uh, a hotel employee of the Marriott where Michael Irvin was staying accused him of sexually uh, harassing her, touching her inappropriately, and making inappropriate uh, comments. Now, Michael Irvin actually spoke to the media with his attorney and was obviously visibly uh, shaken. Take a look here. This sickens me. This sickens me. Because in this great country, this takes me back to a time where a white man would accuse a black, a white woman would accuse a black man of something. And they would take a bunch of guys that were above the law, run in the barn, put a rope around his foot and drag him through the mud and hang him by the tree. Not a thought about what would happen, not an investigation, not after repeated attempts of people trying to go and say, guys, he here's what really happened. Here is what really happened. Here are witnesses that'll say this. Here are witnesses that'll say that. They say, we don't want to hear. We do not want to hear. How can you, how, how can I defend myself if I don't even know what I'm defending myself against? They asked me, they said, do you remember this girl you met in the lobby? I work. And I live in hotels. I stay in hotels all year long from August to September. I meet people every day walking in and out of a lobby. I couldn't even tell you what she looked like. I don't know. I don't even know who I'm talking about when I'm talking about I'm supposed to do something. I, I, it just This just blows my mind that in 2023, we still dragging and hanging brothers by a tree. That blows my mind that I have no opportunity to defend. I don't even know what I'm defending. And, and, and absolutely, to not listen to the court. Marriott, Marriott is above the law. Because I still haven't seen this tape. He, a, a woman had come around the corner, kind of met Michael at the corner. They had, they had a very brief interaction that was you know, super you know, friendly, lots of laughter. And Michael went back to his room. I went back to my seat. And two days later, I, I read about the story that we're talking about now. Um, at any point in time, did you see anything that caused you concern, you thought was inappropriate? Uh, Mr. Irvin should have done that, just done toward. Did you see anything like that? Well, it's frozen. It's frozen Zoom. He is in Europe. <coughs> um, guys, if he comes back, I'll do it. Uh, other than that, I think that concludes our press conference. Um, these gentlemen have offered to take questions if you want to. We're not going to take questions based on the fact that we still have this current lawsuit going on. So I appreciate everybody showing up today. Let me, let me say this. Okay. You know, because, because I'm also just listening to, to real talk. Because I'm struggling. This is what I struggle with, you know. And you try to, and you try to be an ambassador of the league, you know. So understand that God has blessed me and, and given me a platform to try to touch people, try to raise people, try to lift people up. I, and, and, and I don't know, I, I met a lot of fans, but I've always tried to be good with people. You know, I'm struggling now saying, do I determine, do I not talk to people? What do I do, you know? Because of this kind of a situation, I know I didn't do anything wrong. I know I didn't do anything wrong, and I was trying to do everything right. So it's just, you know, though, though, though I say that, I gotta come back to this moment, and I'm not said to these guys, you know what, you cool guys, let's go outside and take that picture you know, then they wouldn't have been right there with me. And that would have been a moment that I've had alone. And I know nobody's going to listen to what I say. Nobody, still, at least Mary, I don't want to hear what we have to say. Don't want to hear what I have to say. No one don't even care to share it. So, you know, I just got emotional thinking about it because I'm struggling with that. 
on what to do moving forward after I deal with all of this. That's all I want to say. Now, as of this recording, Marriott has yet to provide the court the actual video footage that they have of Michael Irvin in the lobby. Uh, and one of the guys that he took the picture with that he was referring to actually spoke up on Michael Irvin's behalf. He was like, you know, no, he did nothing wrong. He almost kept, he was a meter apart from the lady. She kind of saw us coming back in. She came from around the front desk, said something to Michael, um, you know, but he kept his distance. And then he said they shook hands and he went on about his business. And that was the end of the interaction. Um, now, it sounds like uh, at this point, Michael Irvin has went on and filed a $100 million defamation lawsuit against the Marriott because the Marriott hasn't been forthcoming and has kind of blocked every attempt of him to exonerate his name. Uh, so he's suing the Marriott as well as the alleged accuser. Now, someone that I haven't seen jumping out the window for Michael Irvin, because also he's been off air. He hasn't been on ESPN. He's kind of, you know, he's says he's been a victim of, of cancel culture, which just based on the allegation, we're gonna stop everything you have going on uh, until you can get that worked out. And and who I haven't heard from, uh, do you remember a little situation where Jerry Jones was in a photo a key, uh, in, in high school keeping black students from uh, you know integrating the school? Well, Michael Irvin was one of the most boisterous against those that that would even challenge Jerry Jones for you know a possibility of his uh, character showing any racism at any point of his life. Now it would be nice to see Jerry Jones kind of you know return the favor, like can, you know the way Michael Irvin vouch vouch for his character just out the blue just you know not jerry y'all crazy you know that he, he he made it like you're stupid for even considering that jerry jones he didn't he, he he even stated in the photo that jerry you know he looked curious he didn't look like he was there to start any problems <laughs> oh boy it'd be nice if uh your owner Michael Irvin, that's what I can call him, that, that if Jerry Jones actually spoke up on your behalf or, you know, made a call or two, who knows, maybe he has, but he hasn't put his name behind it. He's not willing to vouch for your character in the same way that you vouch for his. And I have a rule of thumb, and this is just me personally. I never ride harder for anyone than they would ride for me. And that's excluding nobody. That's, that's just something I want Michael Irvin to keep in mind uh, moving forward. You feel like you're, you're being lynched and Jerry Jones has nothing to say while you're being lynched. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you next time. Peace. Man.